Our model of education in this country has ebbed and flowed over the course of years. We think back to Brown versus Board of Education and thinking back to when schools began to get integrated and what happened as a result of that. And most people don't know, but even though black and brown children were being educated separate from their white counterparts, they were receiving a very good education. And so with gentrification of the suburbs, we created a new inner city. And with that came a depletion of resources. But the failure to have these conversations and acknowledge the elephant in the room that it is not so equitable will always leave us longing for more and will always leave our children behind. It doesn't matter what color they are when we talk about leaving our children behind because even our students who are white don't benefit from not talking about equity and privilege and those pieces that help shape society the way it is because we all have to interact around the globe. If we really hope to continue to compete and continue to lead in this world, we absolutely must educate all of our children well and give all of our children an equitable education. Whether they're black communities, Hispanic communities, impoverished communities, so the only way to break that generational poverty cycle is to really, really give our kids a high quality education. Because most people say that's their ticket out, but it's only their ticket out if the educators believe that they deserve to have that ticket. The NGSS are so beautifully written. The performance expectations, the disciplinary core ideas, the interplay of the cross-cutting concepts. When the K-12 science framework came out, they were very intentional. And if you read that document, it tells you that it's written so that all students, all students have access to higher level sciences. And so building this partnership and really embracing those standards at their root and at the, at the base of where they were created and developed will only empower us to move education forward, to give them a high quality education, to allow kids to be, grab those STEM careers, the 80,000, and if we go online today, they're out there waiting for our kids to pick them up and take them. So partnering with the NGSS and really embracing the foundations will really help us meet this shortage of STEM careers and empower kids beyond whether STEM is their thing or not, but empower them to make decisions about their lives and make this country a better place.